This sculpture looks at this issue of time, this change in time of 1.26 microseconds, and the tsunami that rippled across the ocean and makes that visible. Because how, how, how do we make sense of our interconnectedness in this world? How, how do we make sense of time and our relationship with one another in different parts of the planet. I, it's so hard to get a handle on. And so I took this set of data about this tsunami and its move across the ocean from South America here to Australia as a way of just kind of giving us a, a handle to grab onto, a way in to a, a contemplative experience. want to work in places where everybody feels they're entitled to be there. And the street is the one place where no one feels out of place. You know, you don't have to be educated in a certain way in order to feel at home in the street. That's the most um, all-encompassing public space. And that's where we're all in movement in the context of our, of our lives. When I look at a city, I see all the airspace as a, an, an, a spatial envelope around the buildings. I see that as a positive. Uh, and that's what I sculpt. And I'm pulling um, lines from one part of the city, a building to the city hall, to the top of the Woolworth building here in Sydney.
So it takes all yeah. the load. There's yeah. no load on this. Oh, it's purely just hanging. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's a really... Uh, hey, we can let go of that net there. That's going to stop it. There's a part of your brain it, that experiences uh, movement and three-dimensional spatial depth is a different part of your brain. And I want to engage that part. It's a, um, a sort of an older part of our brain. In fact, that part um, doesn't have language, and it also doesn't have color. It, it registers luminance or light to dark. So I'm kind of um, engaging different parts of your brain at the same time with my work.